Right, I'm in the Southern Madison Range on Skyline Ridge and we rode in here through Taylor Fork and on the way in saw a handful of avalanches that probably broke five to seven days ago and those all happened on heavily wind loaded slopes. Um, on this slope it's wind loaded, the snowpack here is five feet deep and there's this really really hard slab of snow that formed in the second half of December, we had a good bit of snow, ton of really strong winds, and so that's what created that slab that was avalanching on wind-loaded slopes. We haven't had snow in almost a week, and so triggering those types of avalanches is becoming more difficult, and with a few more days of no snow, it's becoming unlikely, and avalanches are generally unlikely, but if you do decide to play an avalanche terrain, make sure you're following all the safe rules of only exposing one person at a time, watching each other from a safe spot, carrying rescue gear, and stay up to date on current conditions at mtavalanche.com.